right, so here we are, day number two. We are in Miami, Florida right now. So I got Janet asking a few questions. How do you um how are you liking Miami, Florida Comic Con? Am I liking it? Miami Comic Con, you guys are great. First of all, I just love Florida. Like I want to move here. I just I always want to live in Florida. So um, it's a huge Comic Con. I was able to spend Fourth of July with some of the fans and family, so I had a, a good time yesterday. Well, and I have one more question for you. Um, like, uh, do you like, uh, do you think, like, do you, do you like, uh, did you like the fireworks last night for 4th of July? Yeah, the fireworks were pretty cool. We were at South Beach and, uh, the Dawson, so I will be seeing you in a short video. I came all the way from Peru to meet Jason David Frank, the original Power Ranger. I've been watching him since I was three years old. I have all the toys, all the collections, and I'm, I can't believe I just met him at 19. Where's your mom and dad? Right there, mom and dad came too. What's up dad, how are we doing today? We are doing good? Long time. Long time? Hi mom. Alright. Hey David, David! David! Hey! I'm about to do a Q&A right now. Let's check it out here at Supercon. Twenty years later, it's <laughs> that kind of forces you to stay in shape if you're always having to wear tights, doesn't it? Fanatics don't players. lie. You know cosplayers. You know that stuff. Yeah. I know cosplayers that don't eat, no carbs, no nothing, just to be like stay in their costume. You know, and then after a day of partying, you know, it's like, Shh, and my belt's done that before. I'm like, oh snap, I gotta fix that belt real quick. All right, but uh, yeah, I, I love staying in shape, though. You know, I always talk about 2013 fitness year with everybody is it, it doesn't mean like get chiseled it means just try to stay healthy a little bit watch what we eat you know i mean it, it really starts with that and um i'm very i'm very happy to continue to be a role model and you know stay in shape and all that and half the thing for megaforce are you guys gonna watch super megaforce next year <laughs> half the thing going back to nickelodeon show was can you fit in tights that was the first question that they asked you and um so yeah i was kind of a little bigger but yeah it was good what was it like when they told you that you were going to be the, the White Ranger? And did, did you have long conversations with that tiger sword? Uh, no, just Saba. Um, <laughs> I just talked to Saba a lot. We were like, hey, Manny. You know, anyway. Uh, I was doing Cybertron, which was VR Troopers. I, uh, you know, we sold that show. They took me and said, you know, Green Ranger, most popular. We're going to, you know, so they sold us VR Troopers. I was excited because it was next door. And I had my own stage and, you know, my own little weird somewhat Zorns and stuff. But uh, Brad Hawkins was supposed to be the White Ranger, and um, he was the star of VR Troopers. So I'm kind of glad it didn't happen that way. Yeah, and, uh, I bet he's yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Brad. Um, the power of actors, they don't want to have that power of actors. Think about it, it just changes. No one can like go on strike. And um, everyone's excited about doing the show. I've always been excited about doing the show. I have worked with people before, and they like, oh, I want to do it. It's like, then leave, you know? Um, so I think they, they change it every year so the cast is really excited uh, and they stay in that state of limerence. You know, you ever date somebody, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your parents like, what are you doing? You're just so high in a mountain, you don't care about people. It's called limerence. It's like we have dopamine and something else in our body. And they're just very excited to, to get started in the first year. And by the time they start, where's my trailer? Season is over. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's the way it is. I bet they're like stuff, and then you wait until 11.30. So during that time, you hear people getting an arm broken, you hear the crowd, everybody wants to smash your face. Uh, and so I decided, well, if I was the Green Ranger, I gotta think of something clever. I was like, all right, if you win, you beat up the Green Ranger, shame on you. And if I, if I win, you got beat up by the Green Ranger. So I'm gonna win-win. I'm gonna 
I just meant before the bell rings, you just look at the guy like, I took down Ivan Ooze, you're nothing. You know? <laughs> I punch them and I just want them to spark, but they don't spark. You know what I mean? Spark! 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 I want to believe that the, the, all of the guys that you fight just have a giant Z on their chest, and when you punch it, they explode. Like, that would be nice. Why did Z That made no sense to me watching when, when Lord Zed took over from Rita. Why did he give them easy targets to hit? He made the putties so much weaker. It made no sense yeah. to me. Well, those putties were a little bit more high-trained putties. They had a little bit more better of a costume, and uh, they're supposed to be better martial artists where, you know, they could defend the Z, which I just made it up. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but did you see that we kind of connected? You know, he... Thank you, thank you. Johnny Youngbosch. Uh, and uh, he worked up the karate school. He does a lot of voices. He's you know, connects with the anime world and stuff. And, uh, but I mean, the first season is you never is unforgettable. But then you have you know favorite cast members to work with, less drama, you know stuff like that. So um, I mean, I love the movie. I always think to myself, that's why I love the Green Ranger. He was always alone. It was like, oh, they're calling me again to save him. Yes, you know, I'm in a bad mood. I'm not going to help you today. All right, I'll help you. You know, so I think people identify because it's kind of true. I was kind of like that in high school. I used to collect comic books and stuff and. Uh, Wolverine was like my favorite character, and um, I used to wear the X-Men shirts and stuff like that at school, so you know, it was one of those, oh, you're, you're a nerd type of kid, and that's when I learned to fight and beat everybody up, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, I was kind of related to that character, and I think everybody related to individual characters, that's why it was so, so popular, is that it touched parts of many people, to let you all know that you can do anything that you want to do, and that's what I continue to talk about, you know, in life, that you can, don't let those people tell you you can't do something, if you're passionate about being an artist, being a costume designer, whatever it is, you can't listen to the people saying, you won't make money on that, because it's not the money, it's the passion. If you're passionate about it, the money will follow. And um, if you listen to Tony Hawk's mom, maybe, hey, I want to eat skateboard, now look at Tony Hawk, you know what I mean? So you got to continue to do something that you want, and that's what I call success. People say, oh, you're successful, oh, you're famous, you're rich, you have money, no, that's not success. Do you, go to, do you work? Do you love your job? Are you happy with what you do and do you feel that you reached your full potential? That's really what success to me is all about. You know, and um, I grew up poor. I didn't grow up like that. Um, but, uh, oh, what was the question? <laughs> when you watch the, when you watch oh, this yes, footage I showed my brother, I put the VHS in and he was just sitting there and uh, we showed it, the pilot and then the Zords and, and then it ended, you know, like the credits rolled and then the screen went black and I was waiting for his response and he was like, Dude, that's dumb, dude. I, I, just, I just don't understand it. It's so cheesy. But when he mentioned the word cheese, I'm smart because kids like cheese sandwiches, cheese sticks, macaroni and cheese. I went to every agency in Hollywood and they turned me down and said the show's gonna be nothing. Don't even do it. It's not gonna air. I'm like, yeah, it is 40 episodes. You see Heim shop at everywhere and nobody bought the show for years. Except one person, Margaret Loesch, who gave him a chance to do 40 episodes, and then Saban didn't have that much money, ended up buying the whole Fox network. You know, so, um, and then Margaret Loesch was fired. But that's a different story. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, uh, but yeah, it was awesome, and nobody thought it was gonna be as big as it was, and um, again, I was just passionate about what I did. I didn't care. I was like, I'll do it for free. I don't, I just love acting. What was it, was it like? And, to believe it or not, man, like, uh, for me, it was, it, you know, to, the leader just slowly came onto the show. I was really happy just being on my own and being in my own little La La Land as Tommy the Green Ranger. But uh, the leader just slowly kind of, uh, you know, became the leader and stuff like that. So th there wasn't no pressure. There was feeling of I'm naked because I don't have a vest on. You know what I mean? And, and the Gold Ranger came on. I was like, ah, oh, snap! I want that vest. You know? but, <laughs> yeah, the vest was. I always admit, like you guys are fighting in the Arctic and everyone else is shivering. You're like, what's the problem? I don't yeah. get it. <laughs> yeah. This vest is so warm. Did I ever share the vest with the Blue Ranger though? Because that toy, I, the Blue Ranger did have the vest. No, just he did. No, just the Black toy, Ranger. Just merchandise so like they don't think people know. Yeah. We uh, we probably spent more time outside of the studio uh, than any other people together. I love the uh, I, I was about to say you can call you an echo for those people in the room. I don't want to use profanity, but I love the guy. He's a blast to work with. I kid you not. Well, thank you, buddy. Listen, I, I do have a question for you. Um, how, how did it feel when your baby was born? Because like I know that was an awesome feeling for me. How, how did you feel? And I know this is off the Power Ranger subject, but um, how did that feel? Oh, sure. Dude, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to have 
this complete stranger suddenly become the most important person in your life. And, and when they put that baby in your hand, talk about the weight of the world suddenly coming in. Um, it, it, it's amazing. I mean, there, there really is no describing it, right? I mean, yeah, it, it, it really is overpowering. I can't, I, I can't put it into words. Well, awesome, man. Listen, I, I, uh, Narvi, I do want to get you on some of the shows I do because I think we do awesome panels. We have a lot of memories of me, you, and Johnny, and everyone going doing crazy things, and you waking up and uh, driving to uh, where did you drive to get pancakes? Tombstone or where was it? Oh, well, when I needed to get pancakes, I go down to Arizona. That I was such down a party. Tombstone. There was a place where I get pancakes called. I don't think it actually had a name. It just had a giant sign that said. Well, that's awesome, man. You're a crazy guy like that. I'd like to get you to some of the conventions I do. I have a, a ton of them, and I'd love for you to be here. But um, don't worry, man. I'll take care of you. I'll, 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 uh, I'll get you some good shows, and the fans want to see you. Right, guys? <laughs> Narvi, for the, people, for the people that want to get in touch with you or maybe Facebook you now and like this page while we're sitting in the audience, since you were so nice to come on the phone, what's your Facebook page? Facebook page, I got two. I got, I got my own one, Jason Narvi, that one's filled up. Then there's the other one, which is Jason A. Narvi, that's the A for A-hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have Facebook, that's, that, that wouldn't be me. And please, while you're in Miami, because my wife is from Miami, you got to get yourself a favor and get some real cool back and forth, man. Awesome, bud. Well, I'm sure as we speak, maybe a few people will definitely like your page, man, but I want to thank you for taking the call, and I'll talk to you a little, little bit later about what we got going on, and I haven't forgot about you with the aftermath stuff, but uh, we love you, we miss you, and one more time to laugh if you don't mind. <laughs> of course, I'll do my evil Green Ranger laugh. <laughs> all right, Narvi, I'll text you a little bit later, buddy, all right? Sorry to catch you off guard, and, you know, I, I uh, hope you're not naked. No, uh, well, actually, I was putting my pants off when you called me, so maybe you get with it, and I suddenly out of bed, half naked, trying to find my coffee, and suddenly like, thanks for drinking, Holy God, I hope I don't have to be thoughtful or anything like that. So thanks. Well, well done. Well played. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, send your family love, man, and um, congratulations on the baby, and we'll talk soon, okay, buddy? Yeah. Say bye to everybody. Say bye to Narvi. I was in the hospital, and, and that was like the easiest acting. I could just be like... <laughs> and they're like, cut. Oh, oh. So, also with the Rangers, I don't know why Turbo wasn't in there, which, you know, I'm not too sad about it. But, um, and then it was just funny that the guys were all different levels, right? Like the stunt guys were all, can we just make them all one size, please? But uh, fighting spirit problem. It's hard to, I don't watch the TV as, um, as well, that's me. I, I kind of watch it as a second person, you know? And here's my wife, Tammy, over here. Say hello. Hey, do some karate moves. They want to see when you uh, fought in Thailand. What did you do? I mean, did you, did you tell them that? Make it grow! All right, so, uh... <laughs> so... It was a question, I'm sorry. What was it, for real? Uh, uh, the movie, like... Oh, the movie, yeah. So filming the movie was different because it was an $80 million budget. Right. And uh, it was huge. There's so much money that they waste on the show. Because it's like, hey, can you fix my shoe? I'm sorry, I'm not in the shoe department. Dude, seriously, just fix my shoe. No, can you fix and uh, walk around the house. You don't know what it feels like to step on yourself because I walk and I'm just ah, oh, stupid toy. And it's like me, like you know, <laughs> Jenna, leaving your toys laying around. Oh, and it's like, so have you ever stepped with you on yourself or uh, played? You played with yourself. <laughs> was it? Was it? Like, I always noticed like when you just went ah, oh, like reminded me of every time you threw a punch on the show. What, what is what is the purpose behind that to go? Ugh, you know. Oh, okay, listen. This is a very good point, and I'm glad you mentioned it. It's called a ki-ai, which means that a ki and I'm gonna have a karate class Sunday, so I'm not gonna kill everybody, but I'd love you to participate, take your first step in a black belt excellence. A ki-ai comes from the bottom of your stomach. It helps tighten up your stomach, so when you're fighting, it's like your stomach's always tight. Even like this, I talk this way, I don't, hey, you ever came around and someone pokes you, like, ew, that knocked the wind out of you? I always, no matter when I'm talking, it's like if someone hits me, my stomach's tight. It's called a ki-ai. It comes from the bottom of your stomach, and it comes from the bottom of your stomach and not your lungs. So the key eyes are like, from here, as a warrior, because it's an imaginary fight between two or more opponents. 
Now, the kiosks I can't stand are what's going on now and what went on then. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Hoo, hoo. Uh, when people train with me, that's a no-no. We don't want to do, you know, ah! scares me, all right? Put your teeth.